Hello everybody, this is the Wild T Nigel. Welcome to yet another episode of um, Shadow of Mordor. I think we do another uh, Torvin mission here. This one we fight. Uh, I won't actually reveal it to you quite yet, because it actually I was, I was gonna do probably a Lady Marvel mission, but since it was right here, I was like, eh, we'll do this. So we fight Tegaraug. But it's gonna be a shorter video because this mission is actually pretty quick. Hope you're not put off by my wee scars. Oh, not at all. I actually have a few of my own. <laughs> oh, Hello, Italian. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters? <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Ho oh, oh. ho! Huh. The mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. I think the hunting partner was his wife. I think we'll find out in when our next mission. We're so gonna, what now? I'm not going to give it away. I don't know. Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> so what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Crobane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Ooh. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a Grog before? Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. You may no, survive? since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this Grog? I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Grogs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graug's heel for nothing! You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes! I can manage. I am freaking amazing. There it goes! What a fine, bullets. fine specimen! And it'll meet a fine end. Yes, quite. So then I learned, you gotta go up behind it and there's a certain move where you can bleed it out. <laughs> I don't know if it like slows it down or if it just does some damage. But... Oh man! So I think he like turns around and always catches me. Ankle if I want to bleed it. And then coming behind him. No way! I get him. I got this fool. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha! One knife stab. Oh no, it takes down half his health. Okay, I'm trying to climb this rock and it doesn't work, so oh gosh, these things are tough. That will be quite a ride. Should kill it with fire. Oh, Caragor. I need a Caragor for speed. Weird. So yeah, we took this and then um, this actually gives, these tournament missions are giving us some great uh, beast riding abilities and beast taming abilities, which Sounds I do easy like. enough. So shoot in his head. Uh, I think I missed, actually. Or I didn't hit him in the head, I think I hit him, but it's not in the head. But these things can take a whooping. I've slain bigger crowds when I was a wee boy and my beard was only three inches long. Shoot it in the head. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's not. Got it in the throat. Look over here! Nothing like a dwarf for dessert. We're a sweet little morsel. If you can get me in your mouth before I drop you with my hammer! Oh, I missed again. 
Stop. You just gotta keep shooting with these arrows without having to get that or not. So, but the good thing about this mission was there's arrows right on the side. Come on, you can do that. Like right there, under my right. I don't know, I think I climbed up here. Get there. No, wait, no, I know. It's down here. Yeah, here. Over here! Look at me, you filthy animal! I'm sorry. Your mama makes it with giant spiders! Uh oh. That guy will get angry if I keep yelling at him like this. I think I got him in the head that time, too. Oh, yeah, he's still uh, 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 I think, yeah, when he weakens. Oh, my gosh, that's kind of hurt. What step four? There is no step It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders! Well, oh that's your gosh. problem! Alright, so this is one of the greatest abilities I think we're ever going to learn in this game. Right here. I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't this, this, this is a lot harder to do, the sequence, than uh, the territory. Uh oh. Don't mind the train. And just go into my, uh, my apartment complex. Alright, we took over the Glaug. These things, if I if I could take over a Glaug all the time, that's all I would do. Fight war chiefs. It's like they're gonna do it. The problem that I. Oh, and my Karara comes to fight with me, so that's awesome. Um, what I like though, the thing that is, which I guess would make it, I guess it kind of hinders it from being too overpowered, but when you eat guys, your health doesn't really that high. So you have to like eat him constantly, and I knock him my character. Oh man. See, and it's like, I don't know, your death perception is kind of You think you're going to swing it. With the sting of my blade. So you kill it. I see. We bit unusual to ride the ground. Nothing like a little... Improvising, eh? <laughs> Alright, Captain. That's it. You should instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts? Yeah, go. Let's go spill some, eh? Yeah. It's grog hunting time. It's beast hunting time! The darkness of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to men. They are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. It's a great quality to have. I didn't know, I, that's why I didn't figure out in the movies why dwarfs weren't, like, what the, the Seven Dwarf Lords didn't get corrupted. The rings were taken back, I think that's what Sauron did, he just took the rings back. I think four of them are, were uh, unaccounted for. Um, just a little, you guys probably already know this, but in the, in the, uh, movies, the first one, uh, Balin went to go, uh, to Moria to search for, he thought there was going to be one of the, uh, seven of their rings there, and, uh, he died trying to find it, so, um, so I think either four of them are missing, or three of them are still missing, but, you know, no one knows what happened, it'd be great to know what actually happened, I think, I actually, people might know. But anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching this episode. It's been a shorter episode, but the next one will be probably a little bit longer because it's a longer mission. We do the last mission for Lady Marwin. So thank you guys for watching. Guys, that's the rest of your day.